Our demand for cleaning robots is climbing on the back of increasing needs and an ongoing manpower crunch. Local cleaning robotics firms say orders have been doubling or tripling and they are racing to hire more engineers and developers. Melissa Go reports from the Clean and Viral Summit. From mass detecting four-footed machines to this tech-like mosquito fogging device. Robots are taking center stage at the Clean Enviro Summit. It's a sign of growing demand for tech innovation as cleaning solutions. Homegrown firm Lionsbot says it will deliver 700 cleaning robots by mid-year, exceeding last year's total of 400. This little guy, its most affordable bot, goes for about 40,000 Sing dollars. The increasing demand has the company looking to hire 20 more people. We are constantly adding more engineers um, to further develop it. So for example, in terms of the AI, in terms of the um, decision making of the robot, how it cleans, how it decides to reverse and, and to change the cleaning path. Mr. Ng says their job is not to replace but to support humans as cleaning demands rise. And competition is keen in the world of cleaning bots. Another company is working on deploying robots and managing them with artificial intelligence. For example, you know, you're at a mall and you accidentally spill some water. So what the platform will do is it's connected to CCTVs and sensors in the area to actually detect a spill and send out the robots to clean it. Mr Chong says they're developing the patent-pending platform to work with other brands of cleaning robots too. It's hoping to tackle the manpower crunch in the cleaning industry while also expanding its headcount by over 20 people. We aggregate all the demand uh, that a building requires and then we allocate the resources out more efficiently so that a building can take care of itself. Another area that's seeing growing interest is extracting treasure from waste like electronics. Unassuming capacitors like this, which can contain over 30 cents worth of rare metal, are often tossed in the trash. But one professor is trying to change that. This is wasted and thrown away. Why? Because people don't know this can contain either very cheap metal or fairly expensive metal. But nobody knows because they all look alike. We've developed uh, the only machine in the world capable of separating them based on the metal inside. Another project uses acid from fruit peel that's usually thrown away to recycle and make batteries. By tapping trash to treat trash, it effectively closes the waste loop, one of many tech solutions gaining traction in the race to zero.